Okay everybody and welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we are going to be looking at Lesson 6 of the Coding Fundamentals Part 1. Let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so here we are on the main menu. We're going to hit play. We're going to go to View Library, Subject Kits and in Computer Science Block Based Coding and we'll be finding our Coding Fundamentals keyboard because we're using mouse and keyboard and part one we're going to go for. Now there's six lessons in here as you should know this is the last one, lesson six and this final one is Revisiting Biomes. So we're going to click Create World. Lesson plan is there in the top right. Before we go ahead and chat to Dr. Barwin like we normally do we're going to select a biome so we can choose from a few different biomes here. Um, so you just choose whichever biome they found the most enjoyable. I've gone with the Polar Bear Rescue and we'll pop in here in this five objectives, build a bridge, complete the maze, clean up some trash and build a fence and build a tower. So we, we're going to quickly go through all of those. This time there is no coding solution in the educator guide. They don't want you to just follow the solutions. They want the students to come up with their own set of solutions. Let's go ahead and code our agent. Now it's 13 blocks forward and this is an area of kind of 13 by 4. Uh, no, 13 by 5 that we need to get cleared. So let's destroy forward and move forward. Let's do it 13 times. Then we are going to create a loop of two times, which is how we're going to be turning around. So we're going to move forward by one, turn right. And if we do that twice, that's us turning around, isn't it? And coming back the other way. So we'll duplicate the 13, duplicate the two, and then we should be all done on that one. Now we'll repeat that whole thing uh, well, let's go ahead and repeat it three times just to be on the safe side. That will do an extra row, but that's fine. Uh, make sure they all get cleared away. So we compile that line of code there using the green button with the white play in the in the center. And we're going to go to the chat and type run. And off goes the agent clearing through those blocks and uh, completing our first activity. Now this next one is from the polar bear rescue level so we're going to head up here and we are going to be building a bridge. Now that reminds me the big thing of how this level is different is that the radio that you receive places the agent where you want it to go so you need to know where you want the agent to be at the start exactly and precisely. So on this one we're going to move forward by one and then when we are not detecting a block downwards we're going to place a block downwards and move forward. Oh and of course we need to give our agent some blocks to place down so we're going to go for some oak planks and give him 64 of those. Good. Agent not detect block down and then agent place down. And it's good I mean it just tests to see if the students can remember the coding that they use for this one the while and the knots and the logic gates and so on. Good off he goes. Yeah nice and easy. So let's push forward this next one and we're going to pop down our agent here. Now once we've got our agent in the middle of this square we're going to think about what kind of tower we want to build. We need to give our agent some blocks and much like the much like the tower that we built on the previous levels we're going to build to the in front of us and to the left and to the right then come back down and build a ladder that goes up to the top. So let's get some let's go for some chiseled stone. I think that would look quite cool and the good thing about these lessons actually it doesn't insist you build out of a certain, certain material build them out of whatever you want uh, but we're going to go with chiseled stone and we're going to build it 15 blocks high inside that we're going to put an agent place forward agent place left and agent place right and then we need our agent to move up by one awesome now uh, of course then we need the agent to come back down we need to give our agent some more some ladder okay so let's change this to ladder here we go awesome then he can place that in front of him and move up 15 times and then we should we should have our tower just have a quick check through it all yeah looks good right so let's compile the code and run it off he goes the agent laying down those chiseled stones come back down ladder of the way to the top and there is our tower looking good All right, let's shoot up to the top we can survey lesson six in our coding fundamentals part one uh, so you can see where we were destroying the rubbish 
There's our bridge. Hello, agent. And here's our tower. So we're going to jump down. Oy. And then we need to head over and do our maze. It's kind of complicated, actually. I'm not sure how many of your students will do it in uh, one long line of code. But uh, that's what we're going to try and do today. Just uh, we aim high, set an example. If we might get it right first time, who knows. And we're going to do a while. Uh, agent does not detect a block in front of it. Agent move forward. And then it'll either turn left or right, depending on where we want it to go. Right, we're going to need to duplicate a whole load of these while not. Agent detect blocks move forward, because we need this for every time the agent basically goes from one location to the next within the maze. And I think there's at least eight of them. So each time the agent then does detect a block, we're going to need him to turn either left or right. Okay, so there's our agent. He's going to come forward this way. He's going to turn right and left and right and left and left and cool let's get those in let's get that lot in first here then right left left right and then we'll sort out that next bit in a minute and then this last bit is a bit finicky because he doesn't hit the wall and then turn so we need the agent to go three steps forward or three blocks forward turn to the right and then go five blocks forward i think so let's run the code. You never know, we might get it right first time. Strange things have happened. Off he goes. Nice work, go on, Mr. Agent, last bit. Yeah, easy. Nice one. Okay, so let's move around to the last activity, which is building a fence. Um, build an environment a new artificial environment for the panda to go live in that got lost in the city and you will hopefully remember that you can't place fence directly down but we're going to give the agent some fence now let's give it some oak fence we're going to get the agent to destroy forward and to move forward a third no not 13 11 times and then we want that inside a repeat four, one for each side of the square. And once it does one side of the square, we want it to turn left before and move forward by one before it uh, has a crack at the next side of the square. I think that all looks good. Oh, I've done something wrong. The agent's placing to the right. I should have changed that to left. Right, let's hit C and change agent place right to agent place left. Can't believe I did that. And let's run that again. And off he goes, placing it now on that kind of gray path, that gray and light gray checkered path. Uh, the annoying thing about this one is that the radio doesn't, re it, when you right click the radio a bunch of times, it doesn't get rid of all the fence that you placed. So you kind of need to get it right first time. But yeah, that's it for this, uh, for all these five activities. We've got a, one last look at something pretty cool about this level is that you can go back and change the biome. So it sends you back up to the spaceship to Dr. Barwin and you, Click through those. Yeah, we'll go for like a grassland savanna type one. That's quite cool. This is the the grey walls one, isn't it? And everything's the same. The fence, little little square is there to put your fence, and you can walk up there and do the do the bridge and the tower and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you prefer a different biome, you can do that. But that is it. That's the end, and I can finally complete my coding fundamentals part one playlists of six different lessons over five different videos. It's nice to have that resource online for teachers that want to go through these block-based coding uh, fundamental lessons. Now, um, there's going to be loads more cool stuff going on later in the week. We are going to be continuing with mod mods and add-ons and all those kind of interesting things. And there's a really exciting development for the channel that you might want to uh, stay tuned for in I don't know, a couple of weeks time something like that something pretty cool and interesting is going to be happening so make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video it helps me a lot and i'll see you all next week